Hello, my name is Ryan Mack, President of Optimum Capital Management. Welcome to another edition of On The Spot. We are here with All About Business, Double A B Financial Literacy Soldiers on the Rise. These are young men in college taking it over, making sure they're learning about financial literacy, and then taking this information to the streets where the people need it most. This segment is going to be headed by Dwayne Garth. He has a, a, a lot of stuff talking about commercial real estate. The real estate market is in shambles, so ho hopefully trying to stabilize, but a lot of people are saying that the next shoe to drop is the commercial real estate market. So, Dwayne, what is going on with the commercial real estate? Talk to us. Well, as far as uh, everything goes, I spoke about residential real estate the last time, and I'm going to talk about commercial today. Now, commercial real estate right now is, is basically in the same volatile slump as the residential market. Mm. Uh, now, commercial meaning uh, office, retail, industrial, uh, multifamily buildings and hotels as well. Mm -hmm. Now, the, the slump began for the commercial market in late 2007, early 2008, when banks virtually stopped lending. Mm -hmm. So that sent the shoe, or made the shoe fall in, in, in what- So the shoe's already fallen. The yeah. shoe's already gone, mm -hmm. you know, and it's, it's going down even more. And, you know, a lot of companies now, a lot of banks, were, what they were doing was that on investors, they started pulling loans out of the market from investors that were, you know, doing, having construction projects uh, going. So that stopped, caused a lot of people to get, you know, lose their jobs as well. Mm. Now, also, what's going on now is that we're seeing some buyers coming back to the market even though they stopped in late 2007, early 2008. And mm. we've seen sellers now, they're becoming a little bit more realistic towards the market. Mm. Also, uh, according to Real Capital Al Analytics, the uh, they, realtors, brokers rather, are seeing over t 20 to 30 offers on, on properties, uh, like Class A properties as in office that's you know class a office buildings mm. and class a multifamily, which is uh one that one sector that has not gone down in cap rates as much mm. so 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 we're saying so it's basically right now you're saying it's dire straits is there so do you all see any optimism in this market right now what do we do to try to pull ourselves out of this because the commercial real estate market falls what's what's your what, what do you all take on this on the on the next shoe to drop here well, I think uh, we need to start building. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, we need more schools being built. We need more hospitals being built. Uh, what else? Let's say there's, correct me if I'm wrong, the uh, planned unit developments. Can Absolutely. you tell me about that? I, I've heard of it. Well, what planned unit developments do is that they bring in, like, I'll, I'll give you a perfect example. And uh, a lot of this is going on in Florida right now. There's, like, a basically a medical city that's being built in Florida. Mm. And it's the uh, Nemers Children's Hospital, I believe. And what that does is that it's going to bring in... Uh, is is going to be subject around housing so there's build they're building a lot of residential real estate around there so that the people that work in the hospital go to that hospital can you know have a housing close by as well and they're building supermarkets in that area more retail spaces more office buildings and this is this is just a basic example of uh, a planned unit development mm -hmm. that brings in jobs and because commercial real estate accounts for over nine million jobs mm -hmm. so that is going to increase the job market there in that uh, in that area in orlando and florida do you know of any other models around the country that's trying to duplicate the one in terms of planned unit development uh because it seems like right now that circulates the dollar around the, the community making mm -hmm. the community a whole lot that much stronger trying to it's almost like a bottom-up approach but really trying to just inject capital and building and development to local communities well right now you see i in, in New York now, we, uh, we're here in New York, and we need a, a lot more resources like that that's happening there in Florida. We need mm -hmm. more infrastructure to be built around these things so that more, more people can come into the, the communities, the communities can be beautified. Because, mm -hmm. you know, all you see a lot of the times is just walking down the street, you see garbage, you see, you know, <laughs> run down buildings, and we need that here in our own city as well as in other places as well. Mm -hmm. So in terms of, like, I'm from Detroit, mm -hmm. you know, and I don't know if you all have been following Detroit. Detroit, but Detroit right now has been going through a lot of changes, a lot of things that I'm sure that planned unit development could be uh, beneficial to. Are there any, in, in, any things outside of that in terms, especially in the commercial real estate area, that you all see that we might be able to start to implement to put some tangible solutions on the table to try to revitalize our communities? Don't all jump at once. <laughs> I mean, it's a tough subject. Right, right. So, what's so so so, brother Anthony? What solutions do you see that you would like to see to start moving this economy forward? Well, I'd like to see more regulation. How banks do business. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Basically, what put us in this downfall in the first place is banks giving out loans that people don't qualify for. So I, I, I would like to begin to see people uh, or banks being chained to give out loans that to people that qualify and to basically not give out predatory loans like you mentioned before. Mm -hmm. And basically... That now, would, was that a problem in the commercial real estate market in terms of predatory lending? Is, is that one of the reasons it happened? Elaborate absolutely. On that it, was a, it was a big problem. And right now, you know, the good thing about what's going on right now, as I discussed in the last time, was that banks are being more responsible. Mm -hmm. they're, they're giving better loans, requiring 20% down and in many cases. And they're doing the same thing in commercial real estate as well, where they're requiring up to 60% loan to value mm. instead of the 70, 80, and 90 that they were giving. You know, so that is, is, is causing that um, investors and people, uh, residential uh, homeowners to be m more responsible with their money, which will protect us or help protect us from another real estate downfall in the future. Wow. Mm. Well, I'll tell you what, this is this is why you come to On The Spot, especially all about business, because these young men are up here researching and learning about things that are impacting you. The commercial real estate market, as Dwayne has just said, it was the next shoe has already dropped. A lot of people saying it's the bottom still has not completely fell out yet. Uh, and within this, this tough economy, especially in the commercial real estate market. So hopefully we'll be starting to see these things change again. I'm sure that when Dwayne starts his own development company, you're going to see him participating and helping support our communities. Absolutely. Next segment, On The Spot, my name is Ryan Mack. See you next time.